of the controversy over ousted Mobile Police Chief Paul Prine coming up at the city council today, but council members did their talking behind closed doors. Yeah, the council met with Mayor Sandy Stimson and City Attorney Ricardo Woods in executive session. Fox's Brandon Kirby is in the newsroom with more on this. All right, Brendan, we don't know exactly what they talked about. And no, we don't, Lanise and Shelby, other than it involved the character of an employee and possible litigation. The topic barely came up at the public meeting except for a couple of citizen comments. In a real clash between uh, the chief. After a dramatic week in which Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson put Police Chief Paul Prine on administrative leave and the chief fired back publicly, all was quiet at Tuesday's city council meeting. I ain't going nowhere unless God leads me into it. Prine remains a city employee on administrative leave, but says he's retiring after getting, quote, forced out. Council members didn't offer any details about what was said behind closed doors. There were some questions and statements that was dealing with potential lawsuits, and so therefore we discussed those things, and that was it. Mayor Stimson has said he placed Chief Prine on leave because he was insubordinate didn't want to report to the public safety director, and because of a comment he supposedly made early in his tenure to, quote, F the public. Mobile resident Sabrina Mass held a sign supporting the chief before the meeting and spoke out on his behalf during it. Now, if the chief of police has been attacked, as we see, we are not safe as citizens. If they attack the chief of police, then what do we, we are, we are just sitting ducks out here in the society. That's abuse of power. And all I'm saying, as a citizen, give us the facts and evidence of what Chief Prime did that was so wrong for him to be placed on administrative leave. City Council President C.J. Small says he's looking forward to reviewing a long-awaited report on police practices by former U.S. Attorney Kenyon Brown. That report is set to be given to the council on Tuesday of next week. We want to be fair on both sides. Right now, the uh, city council main priority is making sure that public safety is number one for the citizens of Mobile. Assistant Chief Randy Jackson has been running the department on an interim basis, but at some point the city will have to find a permanent replacement. District 4 Councilman Ben Reynolds says he doesn't have a preference between an internal candidate or someone from the outside. I think we, we, we need to have a law and order police chief, you know, somebody who's going to keep the order. I want somebody who's effective on, on fighting and combating crime in our city. That is priority number one. Council President Small indicated that the council might take several hours to ask questions about the Kenyon Brown report behind closed doors next week before the public sees it. In anticipation of that, the council has moved its weekly meeting back to 3 p.m. Reporting live in the studio, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News. All right, Brandon, thank you. Well, Fox News continues to ask for a sit down interview with Chief of Staff James Barber following scathing accusations from Mobile Police Chief Paul Prine. Today, Chief Barber telling Fox News he won't answer questions about the matter on camera because he doesn't want to get into a quote tit for tat, end quote. He directed any questions to the city's communications department.